Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about reasons why maybe you shouldn't get a cockatiel. Now cockatiels are probably one of the most popular pet parrots. Lots of people think that they are cheap and easy and they definitely aren't. So I'm going to go through a few things you need to consider before you decide to get a cockatiel uh, and then make the decision for yourself. This is Chip and this is Fish. They're my two cockatiels. They are three years old and they are brothers. Chip is a pied cockatiel. He's all yellow with grey bits all around and his little grey kind of waistcoat with a little bikini top and fish is what we call a normal grey male. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you need to know about cockatiels is they are very dusty. They are what's known as powdery down birds. So they have this kind of dusty dander kind of thing all over their feathers, which is totally normal. Um, and it keeps them in really nice condition as well. However, it means that you're gonna have so much more dust in your home if you live with a cockatiel. It's gonna be over everything. Anytime they move, fluff up, preen, fly, dust goes everywhere. So you need to bear that in mind. And for some people that might not be a great idea if you have any kind of uh, respiratory illness or anything like that, not a great idea especially if you suffer with allergies too um, we always recommend having an air purifier if you have any species of parrot let alone cockatiels i'll leave the links to the ones that we have uh, down in the description it's also in my amazon store with other lovely parrot goodies if you want to check that out too um, but it's just so so important so i'm going to show you a clip now of what it looks like on a typical kind of fluff up when a cockatiel fluffs their feathers and you can see all of the dust in the air the next thing you need to know about cockatiels is they are very noisy. There are a lot of web pages out there and people who will deceive you into thinking that they're a quiet species of parrot, but they most definitely are not. It doesn't matter if you've got males or females, they are noisy and the boys are being deceptively quiet. I tried to film this video this morning and they were being so noisy throughout that I had to stop and start again uh, this afternoon. So they are really noisy, whether it's singing, contact calling, chirping, screaming, all kinds of things, talking as well, right Chibi? What have you seen? Have you seen somebody outside? Um, so it's just something to bear in mind that they are a very noisy bird. Um, for some places, if you live in an apartment like us, it will be okay because your neighbors are forgiving or you have thick walls. But for other places, maybe your neighbors might hear every single scrum and they might get a little bit annoyed. So you just have to bear in mind whether your living situation suits having a noisy pet. The next thing you need to know about cockatiels is they are messy. Chip's making a right big mess here with a special treat I'm giving him, which is a Nutriberry. I get them very rarely, but for filming, it's kind of keeping him um, more or less behaved. But uh, yeah, parrots are really messy, especially cockatiels. And I don't know if you saw in the last clip, but fish just pooped in my hair. And that's just part and parcel of living with parrots. It's all in good fun, it doesn't bother me. But if you are someone who is particularly bothered about poops all over your house, carpets, curtains, everywhere, yourself, then maybe cockatiels aren't the right pet for you because cockatiels will go for a poop about once every 15 minutes. They don't do it overnight, they do it once every 15 minutes. So that works out almost 50 poops a day that you have to clean up per bird. And I've got five birds here because I have three conyers as well. So there's a lot of poop going on. So there's a lot of cleaning, hoovering, sweeping, mopping, dusting, cleaning out the bird cages as well with safe um, bird safe cleaners too. It's just so much mess. And obviously when they play with their toys as well, again, even more mess. Is that something you can cope with in your home or do you prefer your home being really nice and clean and well presented? Because we definitely don't hear clearly with all of our birds. So it's just something else to bear in mind. The next thing you need to know about cockatiels is they are expensive long term. Now, sometimes the initial outlay of buying or rescuing a cockatiel is quite cheap, but they are by no means a cheap pet. So you're going to be thinking about buying lots of toys all the time, obviously their cages, their bowls, their food. Hi Chibi, you coming back for some more snacks? So more snacks as well, dry food, fresh food, uh, perches, first aid supplies, cleaning supplies. Uh, there's just so many different things, travel carriers, nail clippers, all the different toys, there's just so many toys to buy. 
So you need to just bear this in mind. So there is always lots of things to buy. There are ways to kind of manage costs and things like that. I do have a money saving video and a life hacks video, which I'll leave down in the description. But parrots are expensive pets. It does not matter what species you have. If you are giving them the best possible care you can, it's gonna add up. As well with this, vet bills for birds are exceptionally expensive because you have to go to a specialist avian vet. You can't just go to a regular dog or cat vet and it's always more expensive. So you need to bear that in mind as well that you need to make sure you've got the finances in place, uh, insurance if that's the route you're gonna go down for your birds and just make sure that you can afford to give them the best life you can. Otherwise, maybe a different pet might be more suitable for you. to know about these beautiful little birds is despite their size they can live for a really long time a very healthy cockatiel with no other problems should live roughly until their 20s some birds even reported into their 30s as well can you make that kind of commitment to a pet so that's a really long time and you know lots of different things could be happening in your life then you could be going to school university college uh, all different kinds of things traveling the world relationships children can you make sure that your birds can still have the best life possible despite the changes in your life? It's something to consider, they're a huge commitment. It doesn't matter what size bird you get, they still deserve the very, very best. You just need to bear in mind that these birds are very noisy and can live for a very long time. So yeah, it's, it's something that a lot of people kind of overlook, but um, they are absolutely wonderful companions if you can give them the right home. Chibi shake, good boy. Chibi spin. Good boy! Now the next reason that you might not want to get a cockatiel is because they are a very social species of bird. They do need companionship. Now whether that's through you or through um, a member of their own species or even another type of bird, they do need to have companionship. And with you as well, they need to have hours every day of interaction. They need to have training sessions each day, although they only need to be about two to five minutes per training session. They need to have fun and interaction and enrichment and all the kinds of things that you want to provide for your birds to keep them mentally and physically stimulated. They need exercise every day as well, flying. It doesn't have to be free fly outside, you know, after you've trained with an experienced mentor. It could be flying in the house, uh, getting all that kind of exercise and natural flight uh, which you want to be giving them. So can you give them that social commitment? Now one of the things I do stress is it's really important, in my opinion, for birds to have a companion of the same species. It doesn't mean they have to get along or be fully bonded, they could even be in separate cages, but I think nothing compares uh, for an animal to be able to communicate with their own species because they can only get so much social interaction from us humans. That's not to say that single kept birds can't be happy, but if there's an option, I always feel that if you can get them a companion, it's great, but you also have to work on that kind of bonding and making sure they can tolerate each other at the very minimum. Now, as well as everything I've already mentioned, it's really important to know that parrots in general, not just cockatiels, are a complex pet to have. There is no such thing as a starter or beginner bird, which I've talked about on my channel. I do not believe that cockatiels are starter or beginner birds. Any bird or any pet that you decide to have should be fully researched and you should be fully committed to getting them. They're not in preparation for you getting something else. They're just as awesome in their own right, and I absolutely love my cockatiels. They're emotionally intelligent and they're so, so smart. Our birds just absolutely love training and learning new things, problem solving. And also it's really important to sift through a lot of the information online to make sure you are giving them the right standard of care. For example, you can't just feed your cockatiel an all seed diet. They do need a nice fresh diet with variety and diversity. They need toys they can actually shred, softwood toys, paper, uh, palm leaf, things like that. Not just great big hardwood blocks like you give to a macaw. They need a big cage because cockatiels deserve a big space to live in. They need to be weighed regularly. They may need to have their nails trimmed regularly. There's just so many different things that they need to do and they take up a lot of your time if you are fully committed to giving them the best life possible. Now this video isn't intended to shame anybody if you don't do things quite right. It's all about education on my channel. So if you're still thinking about getting a cockatiel or you'd like some more information, do make sure you go and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I've got so much information on there. And of course, any time at all, please do leave me a comment. You can send me a DM on Instagram. Uh, my handle is birdnerdsophie, just like on here on YouTube. And I would love to speak to you. I'm more than happy to try and help in any way um, because I want to make sure that birds across the world are having the best lives possible, especially cockatiels, because this is what this video is about. And uh, we absolutely love chip and fish here. Um, 
Uh, they also have their own Instagram if you want to go and follow the birds and their crazy antics. It's chip.and.fish. Um, there's just so much going on. So do check out everything in the description because there's going to be loads of other resources down there, some video links I've mentioned, all that kind of stuff um, to hopefully help you make a decision as to whether you'd like to have a cockatiel as a companion or something else, or maybe a Konya, because I have Konyas too. So much content on my channel. So do make sure you check out that description um, after this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and what it takes to live with a cockatiel in your life. As I said, any questions, please do reach out to me as I would love to speak to you. But from me and the Cockatiel Brothers, Chip and Fish, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later. Say bye. <laughs>